Well, we have a whopper of an episode for you. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Spitball Media Podcast. This is where three dudes just spit out the top entertainment stories of the week. And boy, have we got some big ones. My name's John Draper. Joining me is the Prince of Philadelphia himself, Mr. Shaheen. Shaheen, what a week. What's up, man? Yeah, I'm excited. I haven't seen any of these trailers yet, so oh got a God. lot to get through. We have a lot to get through. And of course, you know him, you love him. Give him a big hug if you can, Mr. B. Show Brian, be sure Brian, you're rocking your Tigers gear there. Hell yeah, dude! I threw it on and haven't worn it in a while. It's uh, almost opening day, right? Yeah, we're getting close to the baseball season. Uh, listen, we have an action packed show for you tonight, uh, just tons of stuff, and we want to get to it as soon as possible. But we start the show each week by just reminding everybody that uh, you might want to consider going to that patreon.com backslash spitball media because for five meansly dollars. OK, that's like you could pretty much find that in the street these days. Uh, you would get access to like thirteen hundred hours, possibly uh, at least over a thousand of, uh, of of limited, uh, excuse me, almost unlimited amount of shows going all the way back to the full catalog. We're talking exclusive content just for the Patreon members. Shah, it's 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 worth its weight in gold. I agree. It's it's worth more than gold in uh, five bucks. It's it's hell of a deal. I don't know. I mean, I've seen so many Patreons on YouTube now. No one's charging five dollars anymore. Everyone's charging like crazy amounts. So, no. you know, some of the tiers, man. There's, I've seen some that go up to five hundred. Like, who the fuck is paying five hundred a month? What do you, get, what do you get? A BJ and a, and a steak dinner? You know, I think you, you get to like choose like topics for shows and get to be on panels with them. And like, what? That's insane, John. That's know. crazy. Obviously, they're bigger channels with like hundreds well, of thousands. Steve, regard, right. Neither yeah. one of you are going to tell me anybody you'd give five hundred dollars to on 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 a on a show, right? B show. There's nobody. There's nobody. No, I think some people did it like to go hang out at Conrad's place for like a month, but yeah, to smell his farts, like uh, like to smell his cabbage farts, like what? Why yeah, would he did like these that? meet and greet like meetup things with fans he that would pay did? His this. I think a while ago. Yeah. Ah, wow. I'm out of that loop, as you well know. But uh, five bucks, guys, uh, the, you get access to every show, uh, tons of bonus shows, theme shows, exclusive content, solo shows, question and answer shows going back to the, the break the apocalypse days. I mean, my God, it's a it's a it's a wide berth there. It's a it's a big amount of shows and it's been five bucks. It'll always be five bucks. It's one tier. And of course, there's a cool bunch of people that have been keeping the lights on in this place. So thank you to them above anybody else. And we appreciate you guys checking us out on the free. And of course, uh, hit that YouTube subscribe. Let people know. We just talk about movies here. Strictly movies. It's like uh, Step Brothers and 80s Droll. This is all we talk about. We talk about movies, talk about things in entertainment, music. But that's it. No nonsense. And there's a ton of things that have come out in the last like 72 hours uh, that are just overwhelming. So we want to get right to it. Uh, but I do want to check out who's chilling with us right now. Uh, we got, of course, Chris Matthews, Rich Dow, uh, Joe Punches. Uh, Marquise is hanging out in there. We, Marquise, we're going to have to do some follow-up with you about this Jake Paul thing when it gets closer to the date. Uh, and, of course, uh, thank, uh, thank you guys. We really, really appreciate it. So, listen, it's a weird couple of days. Uh, I, I don't even know where to start. But we've decided what we're going to do is because so many trailers have come out. And, and some of them in the last few hours, uh, 24 hours, actually, not to mention uh, the X-Men 97 that just debuted to rave reviews. But we want to get right to it. Now, we have a ton of trailers. We're going to have to do the, you know, the YouTube thing there. We're going to have to talk over them. We have to stop, start. But Shah's going to be seeing every one of these for the first time. I have not seen the Beetlejuice trailer, too. Have you, I'm sure you've watched the B-Show, correct? That's the only one I watched because when my kids came home today, I promised I'd watch it with them. Okay, I know it's a teaser. So I think we should go right to the big dog, uh, the big swinging dick in the room. Hours ago, uh, as we're record, uh, doing this live, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, which is the name of the movie, uh, the, the long-anticipated Tim Burton sequel <coughs> with original cast members, Michael Keaton, Catherine Harrow, and of course, Winona Ryder. Um, plus, the, you know, I don't know who else is in, in it from the previous movie, but we're talking about a lifetime. Uh, it's leaked. It isn't leaked, it's out. And we thought it would be fun to watch it together with you guys. Um, and we're going to pull it up. Be show Brian, let's get right to that Beetlejuice. Now, again, we all have to pause it, uh, you know, and talk over it, but this is only a teaser trailer. All right. Uh, let's do it. Let's check out Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Daniel. Me say, Daniel. 
And of course, that's uh, Jenna Ortega, right, uh, Bisho? Yep, riding a, a bike like Lydia from the original one through town. Look at this. Whoa! All right, pause it just for the people following because we also don't want to get kicked off YouTube. There was just a screenshot of a funeral with Winona Ryder, Jenna Ortega, who we know now plays her daughter, and the, mo the mom, Catherine O'Hara. Uh, and they're singing, of course, uh, Shah, the infamous Harry Belafonte song, who's also dead. I think he only died not that long ago. That was, yeah, like that was the mom from Home Alone, right? Yeah, she's also the mom from Home Alone. What's yeah. wild, like what she's, what, you know, um, and she's on that show Shit's Creek. It's very popular. She's a great actress, comedian. Um, right off the bat, I'm kind of like, okay, I'm, I'm getting there. B show, it's giving you some feels. Yeah, I'm getting the feel, Shia. Like I feel it. You know what I mean, Shia? Like I'm like, yeah, this looks familiar. Yeah, I like the um, it's got the same vibe, like the same color palette and shit. So far, color so. palette looks. What do you think of the color? I think color palette looks great. Yeah, that's what I was saying. The color palette is very, very similar to what I would expect out of a Beetlejuice. So, I'm just hoping they keep the same kind of like weird creatures and shit. Like that's. I know. Well, they said they brought back stop motion. Uh, Tim Burton today actually made a point of telling people Good. they brought back stop motion just to keep in the theme. Um, so here we go. Let's see what happens. They're at a funeral. We don't know what his funeral is. We're assuming it's the dad character because he's a pedophile in real life, Jeffrey Jones. <laughs> he was, man. <laughs> he was. Uh, he really was. All right. Let's go. But he's still alive. Yeah. Someone's going up the steps to the attic. And there's the model. <gasps> wow, guys. <laughs> Goosebumps, man. And then in comes Lydia to see what the hell her daughter on Earth. Holy shit. <laughs> the model is oh, here we go. The juice is loose. <laughs> wow. 2024 AD. Okay, can we go back there a little bit? I want to freeze on that Michael Keaton. Yeah. Uh, it's a freeze on that Michael Keaton. He looks like Robert Smith now. <laughs> he, um, does. he does. He looks like Robert Smith. <laughs> Sha, not the best. I mean, he looks a little rough. Let's not. I mean, we're not going to be dicks here. But what? What's your reaction to that, Sha? Uh, honestly, I'm perfectly fine with it because Beetlejuice is supposed to be dead anyway. So if he looks like shit, it kind of fits the character. Like he's not doing Batman, you know what I mean? Like it's yeah, no, he looks great. It's different, an aged version. I'm I'm fine with it. So I mean, I don't know. Honestly, I don't really have any complaints. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I'm being silly here, but he looks like bloated juice. Be show sure, Brian, uh, your thoughts there? I'm fine. Beetlejuice is supposed to be a dead corpse anyway, in a way. Um, although my kids wow. did look at it, one was scared and was like, "Why does Beetlejuice look like that?" Mm -hmm. Um, one six. So I'll, I'll keep that in there. So yeah. I think a lot of people are going to notice it, but what do you expect? I just, dude, I'm excited for this movie because I never thought it would happen. Like yeah. this movie has been in production hell since like 1989. And just to see this like finally coming to fruition, it's fucking awesome. I mean, listen, I'm excited. I, I think it looks great. Jenna Ortega is so cute. I'm so happy that she's in this movie. We don't know what we're getting. Um, but you know, it's weird guys. It almost feels like it's like a fake like, I can't explain it, Shaw, but it's like, I know this is legit. I know this is, but I'm still like, it's still so weird that this is real. Like, you know, this is, we're talking about 30, is it almost 30 years? How, how long ago is this? Did you know? Shaw? 1988. So what? 30, 33 years, 30, 30, no, 36, 36 dog, 36 years, Shaw, 36 years. Yeah, honestly, after that um, Joker AI trailer that we watch, it's hard to trust anything because I'm like, yeah. I don't even know what's real anymore and what's not. So, yeah. if they told me this was AI, I'd believe it. Like, I don't. That's what I'm saying, terrible. right? Like, don't, aren't you kind of having that vibe where it's like, well, maybe it's fake? <laughs> no, not necessarily, but like, I don't know, man. If somebody told me this was AI, I just, I'm at the point that I've been so surprised by how far AI has come in like a year that i'm terrified of where we're going in the next 10 years because like yeah. i don't you're not going to be able to tell what's real and what's not anymore dude yeah like I, i'm sorry that, and that's going to transition into like online like people's instagrams people's dating pages like everything's going to be fake you're not even going to you know how many people are going to get catfished soon like i have no idea who the fuck these people are mm. Mm. terrifying yeah i agree with you b, b show i mean you're i think you're a 
maybe the biggest fan in the room. Uh, well, actually, I don't know that. I, mean, I think we're all probably, but I think B Show might be a bigger fan than you and I, Shop, for some reason. But B Show, I look, it's a teaser, but this is a big fucking deal. Yeah, it has familiar beats with other retro, you know, remake teasers. Like they'll take the old song and kind of redo it over the top. And right. it, obviously, it looks like a modern movie. It's shot in 4K or whatever it is. And it doesn't look, it doesn't have the same kind of grittiness to it that the other one did, but it's just based on technology. So I can't. I don't know. I can't grasp about that. Her walking up the steps to the attic looks like she's walking up the attic to the old house. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, the model looks good. Um, yeah. Winona Ryder looks bad. I mean, listen, this is my, I remember seeing this on a date, you know, in high school. Uh, Winona Ryder is my, my age. She's like my generation. I got to say, man, she looks fucking cool as fuck. Child, like she looks good, right? Yeah, honestly, she hasn't like aged much. I don't know if they're using CGI on her for wrinkles, oh, and stuff, no. but she doesn't. She doesn't look her age. I can't see Burton going there. Can you? And she's what in mid mid forties, close to fifty. I'm probably? gonna say fifty one. Uh, yeah. B show G check me because I because you know people take this shit real seriously. When she was sixteen and eighty eight. So if you can find that out before she was I sixteen and eighty eight. <laughs> okay, I was seventeen and eighty eight. So she's fifty one. Yeah. Um, she was sixteen in the original. Now, yeah. She's all right. We're literally the same age. That's wild. Um, gotta say, her stand next to Jenna Ortega, mother and daughter, works. I mean, I don't know. It just they look, they look, they got, they got a similar look, you know. And also, Shy, you don't watch Stranger Things. Like she's had a renaissance from being the mom from Stranger Things for these last all these seasons, and you know the popularity of that show. She was sort of persona non grata, and that show, Stranger Things, her as, and which by the way also takes place in the early '80s. So, you know, um, you know, like her look and everything. Um, I mean, my generation, she was the shit. I mean, she was that girl. You know what I mean, Sha? Like she was she was like a sought after like dudes, dudes fought over this, but like like the, the top dudes fought over this girl. <laughs> yeah, I, I watched the first season of Stranger Things, so I remember her from it, but I just never kept up with it. But I did see yeah. the first season. Yeah, it's a dense show. Like, it's one of those shows you either dive in or you just check out. You know, B-Show, you don't watch her on Stranger Things, do you? No, I never got into Stranger Things. I don't know mm -hmm. why. Mm -hmm. Never did. But okay. um, didn't she get pinched for shoplifting a while back? And that kind of killed Back her in the day, yeah, kind of fucked yeah. up her career, you know. Um, here's a funny story about uh, Renona Ryder that only people my age will remember. So Renona Ryder was becoming, like, that girl, like, the thing. And they asked her about music she liked. And she said, like, her favorite bands were, like, The Replacements and Soul Asylum. And Soul Asylum was not, was becoming a huge band for a hot minute. And the dude from Soul Asylum, like, dropped, like, immediately started, like, they started dating immediately. It was, like, that's the kind of power she had. Like, Johnny Depp's getting tattoos of her. Like, she was that, she was that bitch, man. Like, she really was. People copied her hairstyle, her look. She was, like, the skinny, wafy, doe face cigarette-smoking, you know, girl. Um, you know, people started dressing like her, every girl that I went to college with, when I started going to college in 1989, the cool girls looked like her, like they looked like they wanted to look like her. And then reality bites, like she's a fucking big, she's a big deal, you know? And it's weird because I feel like now a whole generation of people learned who she was from stranger things. And she's a su superstar from that now. And now once again, standing next to Jenna Ortega B show, like, I mean, it's just, it's almost like passing a torch. Absolutely. Cause Jenna Ortega is the it girl now. Well, one of them. Oh, yeah. But one the them, it yeah, girl sure. as far as film and television go. Mm -hmm. And you're right. Why not a writer was that? Was she, she was in Heathers. She was in a bunch of stuff. Reality um, Bites, in Heathers, fact, Dracula. She's in fucking Dracula. Uh, that's right. She dropped out of the Godfather 3 because she had a nervous breakdown. Yeah. She's and then she was the also, right, right before she got pinched for shoplifting, she was in, um, Mr. Deeds, which was a successful Happy Madison movie. She was, with in, Adam she was in an Aliens. She was in one of the she was in Aliens. That's right. Uh, she was in Aliens four. Was it was it three or four? She wasn't in three. She was in the one. What's his face did Shaw, the the Spanish director. She was in the one. Um, the dude who did uh, City of Lost Children. You know what I'm talking about, Shaw? The the Hobbit guy. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. I don't I don't know the name of the movie though. Resurrection. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Slave Slave Cheeks is hanging out with us too. Um, I, I'm into it. I'm I'm all on board. Um, you know, uh, I'm excited. You know, Joe Punch has brought up, I think, uh, no CGI, but this film is confirmed by Burton. Um, you know, and uh, Chris Matthews talking about Heather's is a classic. Yeah, Heather's is a fucking classic. It's my wife's favorite movie. Like, it's like, it's like a, 
we, we watched that when we were dating in, in the late 80s. Um, yeah, I'm excited. But, you know, Chris, um, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, somebody brought up in the chat, Rich brought up that, you know, sequels do make me nervous. I do get nervous with sequels. Shad, do you have any sort of like trepidation about this being a 36 year out sequel or do you think we're all good? Uh, I haven't seen the last Ghostbusters movie. Um, that is a lot of people part. were praising that. So I have some hope that they might be able to manage it properly. Um, but then again, we've had things like the Exorcist remake and, you know, it's, it's a little scary when they tap back into the archives and bring back these classics and try to remake them or continue them. Yeah. So I don't know, man. I mean, I have more hope for this than horror movies. Cause I think horror movies are harder to impress people with. Um, Movies like this and Ghostbusters and so forth is it's probably a little easier as far as the concept. Yeah, B show, you you're good. You have what you're worried. I'm excited but um, cautious because we've all been through this before. And I know Tim Burton's directing, but his last couple of movies haven't been very good. So I'm hoping that it's. I don't even need a home run at this point since everyone's talking about the tiger shirt. Um, yeah, I don't need a home run. I just need <laughs> give me a solid double or a, a walk to third or you know what I mean. The one thing yeah. I did find refreshing about it, though, is there's so many actresses, especially it girls from back in the day who like mutilate their face and try to stay young. And even if she's had Botox or something, she doesn't look like she's carved herself up very much. It's really refreshing no. to see a woman in her 50s who was a leading woman who looks no like a normal human being. So, yeah, I, I do yeah. like that. Well, I also think she stepped away from Hollywood for a long time. So she didn't have yeah, she wasn't out there out there for the last 40 years. You know what I mean? She kind of was gone for a really, really long time. Oh, backwards Baron Corbin is chilling with us, too. But another big, and I mean huge, trailer that dropped yesterday that uh, I've watched. These guys have not. I'm very excited to watch it with them. Uh, we're talking about the new Aliens, uh, the, the the highly anticipated Aliens film, which they're, we are going to talk a little bit about after the trailer about the timeline because there is a timeline sort of thing. Uh, that there needed to be some clarification for this. Uh, but it is from the director of a movie we reference here quite a bit, uh, the guy who uh, directed the uh, the Evil Dead remake. I forget his name. Fe Fe De I'm not going to pronounce Fede it. Fede Alvarez. Fede Alvarez. Um, so this is Alien Romulus, and this is another teaser, but we will probably have to stop it just to make sure we don't get booted. That's a nice-looking shot there. Yeah. Hey, oh. Alvarez. This guy that looks familiar. Oof. I mean, the fact that that guy is doing it gives me hope because he he knew what he was doing with Evil Dead. So. And Don't Breathe, Shad. Did you like Don't Breathe? i never seen that, actually. You would like it. Ridley Scott's producing, which is cool. Oof. That doesn't sound good. Oh, shit. Run. Look oh, at this shit. Oh. <gasps> There's Look multiple. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Event Horizon. A little. Whoa. Jeez. Hard. Hard. Uh -huh. I think we get a little. We get. A, I thought they gave us a little something at the end there. Um, what is the release date for this B show? Uh, August sixteenth. So it's a summer movie. Um, B show, can we before we well, actually before we do that, we should talk about that. Shao, your first thoughts there. I mean, we like this director quite a bit. I mean, it's a teaser, so it's hard to tell. Um, but I I like the aesthetic so far. Like it it reminds me of like kind of like the older ones. Mm -hmm. Um, and like I said, the fact that that guy is in charge kind of gives me hope. So I'm hoping they don't shit the bed. Because Alien, I mean. There's been so many bad ones, you know. <laughs> so it's just like the well, let first me ask you question. What, 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 what? Tell me the bad ones in your estimation. Now I, you're talking about the the. Um, you're talking about like uh, three resurrection. I didn't hate three. I got three, three. was horrible, dude. That's I got the what they were going. Part. It was a dark. It was a. It was a weird movie. It was more. Uh, the aesthetic of it was just too creepy and weird. Well, um, the third one, the CGI was the worst out of everything I've seen. That was like one of the worst. I don't know, man. The first two were amazing, and then I think it just set the standard so high that they just they were not able to compete with that. And then Prometheus and all—I just didn't. You didn't like was, Prometheus? 
No, I didn't really understand it. Like it was just, I don't it's a, know. It's a dense movie, and and wasn't there that, now? Wasn't there one after that though? Yeah, no, there was yeah, that. Covenant. What was the one after Covenant? Yeah. Which one was Covenant, guys? I'm trying to remember Covenant. I actually didn't see that one. I kind of gave up on them after uh, Prometheus. Now, so. Shot, do you count the Alien vs. Predator movies in the lineage? <laughs> no, but those are. You can. I, think I mean, I guess, but it doesn't help the situation because those are worse, <laughs> honestly. I mean, if I don't count situation. those, it's going to benefit aliens. <laughs> it doesn't help the situation. Yeah, it doesn't. It's, those are terrible. <laughs> one of them is way worse than the other one. Put it down. Well, it's funny because like when he said bad alien movies, I thought he was talking about those because I thought Alien Resurrection was pretty good. I mean, might have yeah, been a little it's bit Fincher. Corny, but... I mean, I like the it's, – it's a weird movie. I think it's a little too, too dark like it's just it's dark it's third one was it definitely is. the worst though dude everyone hates the third one that's like yeah nationwide known as like the worst out of all fucking alien movies yeah, it's fincher too and then after fincher we got what's his face um from the hobbit there uh benicio um what the fuck's his name um the guy who's doing uh help me be show what the hell's his name that's what i'm looking for unless someone in the chat can beat me to it well, let's pull up their history because I also wanted to see who's in this movie and clear up the timeline here. Right. Um, Covenant was the last one after Prometheus. Prometheus is basically an old school prequel. And then Covenant is kind of like the loose sequel, I guess, to that. Um, movies in order. Okay, so we got... Let me drop down here. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, let's drop down here. Okay. Ridley Scott, uh, David Fincher. Who directed Resurrection? John Pierre Jean... No? Wait, hold on. I thought... Wait, I thought David Fincher. But he directed... Jeanette. All right. Jeanette, yeah, he directed City of Lost Children, that guy, because that it kind of looks like that movie. If people know you said Jean Pierre? Jean... What, can you click on that director? Be the pirate. Sure. The fucking pirate. Yeah, I was going to say PCO. Mountie. PCO directed the movie? <laughs> P, John Pierre... What is his name? PCO. What else? <laughs> this guy's directed some bangers, I think, though. Hold on. What's his... The City of Lost Children, it's like one of the most beautiful movies. Delicatessen, Shot, you know Delicatessen. Amale, this guy's directed like fucking serious shit. Yeah, Delicatessen, I've, I've never seen it, but I know it's a weird ass fucking. It's like oh, about a butcher or something, right? It's like, yeah, weird... yeah, it's great. Yeah. The City, of, have you ever seen City of Lost Children? It's yeah, I love phenomenal. that one. That's phenomenal. A good... it's fucking, yeah. it's a timeless movie, man. This guy's beautiful got... looking movie. It looks yeah. surreal. It's, it's weird. It's like, Wow, kind of so reminds he, me of um, what was that Dark City? Do you remember that movie? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I got the same vibe. Very atmospheric. Yeah. What is that? Uh, a very long engagement. What is that after this? It's a really small print for me. What is that movie? Dude, after? By, by the way, yeah. random. But since I mentioned Dark City, that's like one of the most underrated fucking. I movies. saw it in movie theaters. No, Dark City. No one ever talks about that movie. It's a it's cult it's... classic now. The young and Mick Max. Big bug, yeah. I've seen Delicatessen. I've seen City Lost Children. I've seen Alien Resurrection. I, Amelie is like a fucking big movie. It's like an Academy Award movie. Um, so this guy's directed some good shit. I kind of got what they were going for. It maybe it was just not. He was he was probably not the right guy for the gig. Um, so Fincher did the third one. He did the one with Winona Ryder. Is that is that that one? What's the one with Winona four? Ryder? Is that four? Yeah, Resurrection. Okay. Yeah, I like this one. I don't hate this one. Yeah, Brad Dorf, Ron Perlman. This movie's yeah, pretty good. Yeah, you don't like this one? Uh, it was okay. I mainly hate the third one. Um, okay, yeah, movie. I thought the, the, this was. So let's. What comes after this fourth one? I, I, I there's so much going. On. Prometheus. Okay, Prometheus. very, yeah. very. I don't know. It's either people like it or they don't. It's very boring. I'm Covenant was not that good. I didn't like Covenant. Who directed Covenant? Ridley Scott. Wow, that's right. Fuck. Yeah, Covenant. I thought was weird. Yeah, he did that. I didn't know he yeah. did that. Yeah. yeah, and now we got Romulus. Now, B Show, can we clarify the timeline for Romulus? Because it's supposed to take place between Alien and Aliens, if I'm not mistaken. Or if we could yeah, query see. what that is. Set in between Alien and Aliens, yeah. Uh, and I can't read; it's too small. But okay, so we basically and who's in this? Do we got anybody cool in it? Let's see. I'd like to see who's in this movie. Let's find out. Kaylee spent. Let me go to the pictures because I don't know. Who I don't know any are. of these people. Did, <laughs> I don't know any of these people. Jesus. They didn't spend money on actors and actresses, Shah. So maybe the special effects budget will. Who are these people? These This is a cast of nobodies. No idea. All right. Well, they're nobodies. Um, that well, might be like... good, though. Remember yeah. some of the old horror movies of the 80s, cast with nobodies and ended up good, Absolutely. So. Not Absolutely. even that. Talk to me. We didn't know anybody from Talk to me. You know? 
you know, they're, they were young kids. They're young kids, though. They're like, you know, aren't they? Yeah, young? but I mean, they're, you know, these are, yeah, these, these look like young kids. These look like, this looks like a very young uh, international cast. Bisho, can we click on the director's entire, I think he's directed more than those movies. They look like they just graduated from the Disney Club, man. They look fucking 18 yeah, and 19. Might have got him from Disney. And let's, yeah, he's, the, okay. Here we go. Let's not forget he did the uh, chainsaw there. Oh, nice. All right. I can't see this. It's too small. I didn't hate that movie. A lot of people got, gave that movie shit. I thought it was. I, we, yeah, we liked it. Me and Bishop really liked it. Okay, yeah. so he's done. He did Chainsaw. He did the Don't Breathe movies, which are both very good. Um, I didn't like the second one as much as the first one. A lot of people love Don't Breathe. But be, you need to check that out if you guys haven't. It's it, They're good. They're really good. Girl in the Spider's Web. Eh, I don't care about those books. We loved Evil Dead. And uh, this is a big, show. this is a big movie for this guy. Yeah, I mean, he's starting off his little career here, and this is this might be make or break for him because yeah. you, you, Texas Chainsaw like was divided, but a lot of people liked it. Evil Dead was pretty widely recognized as a good movie. Don't Breathe has been in the conversation for a while. Yeah. So this could be a home run. It could be a bust, but who knows? And between the first and the second, because for those of you who don't know, the first movie Ridley escapes and then in the second one she wakes up out of stasis or something and it's been like 150 years and they find her so it's in between those times mm -hmm. yeah uh, so i like the tone of the movie sha i like i like the way it looks like it looks like an it looks like a, a, a an aliens movie it looks like an alien franchise film right um signori weaver she has nothing to do with this though right like no. she's not going to be in this no well, that's kind of weird how, how are they going to pull that off if she's... I don't know. I mean, and by the way, we they could be hiding that for for the film. Yeah, but I mean, just for the timeline, like if it's between one and two, she's going to look old as fuck. It's not going to make sense. Well, no. Unless... That's what uh, I was saying is... not in it. After the first movie, she... they When they find her in the second one, like 200 years has taken place, and she's been out like lost in space and some frozen sleep shit so yeah but yeah yeah you That's remember true. resurrection she was in resurrection when she woke up she was a clone no wasn't she she was a clone in the fourth oh one. was she she oh. was a clone in the fourth one i'm sorry yeah, yeah it was they it, spliced her in the alien dna yeah yeah she's a she's a she's a clone you know she's a she's a i mean look I, I think this looks dope as fuck. Uh, I'm hoping it's R-rated. Do we know if it's R-rated? Because that would really suck ass if it's not R-rated. I can try to find out. So let's say with the chat is saying, uh, backwards Baron Corbin said he'd like three. Chris Matthews saying Neil Blomkamp was supposed to do Alien 5, but that fell through for Prometheus. Yes, I did read that. Uh, Joe Punches says he loves Dark City. Slave Cheek says these actors are probably in TV shows we don't watch. Uh, Chris Matthews is talking about Don't Breathe, the second one they made him the good guy, uh, which was a mistake. Yes, I agree. Um, you know, uh, it's a hard R, Joe Punches is saying. Okay. I I'm excited about this. Like, Shy, I don't feel like, I feel like between the director and it looks like they got it in a good timeline. You know what I mean? Um, and it looks, it kind of reminds me of Alien Aliens. No, I'm hopeful. As long as they don't bring in Predator, um, I'm cool with it. Okay. Because I think that's that's where they've really just kind of lost me over the um, series is when they incorporated Predator. And they were all like PG-13 movies. They were just not... I think one was. I don't know if what one of them was. I'm not sure. One of them is just... Sure? The second one is pretty much unwatchable. The first one is a little bit of a blah. But I did see it in theaters because it was Aliens for fucking Predator. Yeah, I saw it in theaters too. I hated yeah. it. I, I, I was really disappointed in it. Be show your thoughts here. I like you even more optimistic for this, or I think I'm more optimistic for this because I'm less invested than I am in like Beetlejuice, which is one of my favorites from being a kid. Mm -hmm. And like you guys said, it looks like basically just an updated version of one of the original movies. It looks really good. The set looks cool. Uh, it looks gnarly with the kills and the the fucking face huggers coming scurrying out yeah. of the the corridor there. Oh, they're really, awful really really those things, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They're awful, those little fucking things. Um, yeah, I like that first shot, guys. Do you remember like where we're seeing the broken spaceship and one of the things is just covered in blood? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, fuck. And you're hearing like, help yeah. me, help me. Oh, my God. Wow. It really reminds me of Event Horizon, like like the aftermath of just like hell going down on a spaceship and no one's there yeah. and they're just finding like the aftermath. I, I don't know. I kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So we're excited for that. That was a big one. Now, we're going to take a different tone here. There was a trailer that just dropped for a Netflix show that I know nothing about. These guys haven't seen the trailer. 
I've seen the trailer a few times. A lot of people were talking about it on social media. Um, it looks like, and I, I you don't want to, you know, uh, uh, give away the lead here, but it looks like a movie about gods, um, that like uh, Greek gods, in particular Zeus, uh, which we'll get to in a second, played by Jeff Goldblum of all people, um, entering back into the, our modern world. Um, and uh, it is a Netflix uh, series. I, I don't know if it's a series or a movie. The trailer just fucking dropped. Like it literally just came out. But uh, this is called Chaos, spelled K-A-O-S. And we're going to play it for you right now. Hopefully it's a movie. Mortals. This bitter earth. Ooh, that oh, I love the end of the fucking Today world. is a holy day. Looks like he's wearing Elvis. Look at look at look at Goldblum <laughs> in the tracksuit. Honor me. <laughs> That's a command, not a request. Love this bit of earth. Yeah, I want to check this out because I like the concept of it. It reminds me of uh, a Neil Gaiman book. But look at Goldblum. I mean. I love that Zeus statue too. Mm -hmm. um, the End of the Fucking World was a phenomenal uh, Netflix series that I highly recommend. And if you've never seen Chernobyl, Chernobyl um, on HBO is will knock you on your ass. It's that fucking brutal to watch. Um, I love Goldblum. I, I I love that they cast him as Zeus. Uh, <laughs> but this looks like it's going to be a pretty uh, interesting TV show. What do you think of it there, Shah? Uh, honestly, I'd be lying if I said I'm invested in this. It didn't really do much for me. Uh, maybe it's because it's just a teaser and they're, they're not really showing much. Mm. Um, huge Goldblum fan, but I just, I don't know. It's not I, something I think I'd be interested, especially if it's a TV series, like count me out. Cause TV series, I just, dude, I just can't do it. I just, well, we're, we're going to pull it up. We don't know that it's a series cause it doesn't say series or film. It just says, yeah, like, you know, I like, I think it's a movie though. It, it, I do think it's a film. B show, Brian, your thoughts? Um, I mean, Jeff Goldblum is an evil take on Zeus or a vengeful take on Zeus in modern day. I mean, the concept is really cool, mm -hmm. but Shaw's right. They really didn't give us a whole lot. Although I did, I laughed my ass off. I apologize. I didn't expect to do that at the statue that looked like it. Yeah, the statues. Could, let's pull it up and see like yeah. who's behind it. And uh, I, I like the idea of uh, like the modern, like gods interfering and like there's gods, you know, which is. Uh, an interesting kind. It's a TV series, Shah, unfortunately yeah. for you. Okay, go ahead, Bisho. What do we got? The series re re revolves around six humans as they discover their connection to each other and to a long standing ancient prophecy while they deal with the corrupt and arrogant gods of the Greek mythology. So, so, so it's a modern day version where we're controlled by Greek gods. Yeah, it says six humans discover their connection to each other and like to it. a long standing ancient prophecy. Okay, so like a modern day myth relating to past Greek gods. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of cool. Let's look up this uh, cr uh, created guy, director guy. See if he's done anything good. Charlie Covell. I don't know who that is. Maybe it's the end of the fucking world person. Not to judge a book by its cover, but man. Yeah, uh, my hope I don't know what the hell's like, going on there, Charlie? Looks like Max Headroom. Jesus Christ! It's like Boy George reinvented. It's like he looks like Tony Khan's hair haircut. Let's scroll <laughs> down there. Yeah, the it's end of the, the fucking world is great. I, I love the end of the fucking world. It's fucking awesome. It's kind of um, got the Gordon Ramsay haircut. <laughs> yes, British. You don't say. Everywhere. Best known for their adaptation. So it's a, a some of this person's an actor. Yeah, it's a lot of British shit. Uh, I'm I'm curious about it. Somehow they're connected to Florence Pugh. I don't know what that's about. But it, is it a guy? I don't want to be a dick. I don't know. I don't think so. Is it a dude? I, I I just don't know. I don't know who this person is. is it Slave chief says it looks like a non-binary person. That might be because I don't. I can't tell really, honestly. I don't thought it was a woman, but I don't want to misgender and all that shit. I so. I don't know. Yeah, I think uh, it's a woman actually. Yeah, but I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna stay out of this. I don't know. Man. I don't know. I just don't know. I was just curious. I no They're saying it says male. Um. The end of the fucking world is fantastic. I, I love that show. Um, if you've never seen it, that's. I'm a writer and now sometimes actor. I wrote Woman? a film called Burn, 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 and 
I guess so. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't see anything saying not to call this person a woman. So I don't know. I it's yeah. Her experiences as a yeah. Writer. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. You know, it's just uh, maybe a very sort of male presenting female. But end of the fucking world is great. Uh, I would totally, totally tell anybody to watch it. I'd like to check this out because I like Goldblum. You know, Shy. I just feel like his voice, like he could pull something like that off, regardless of his physic. You know, his his look. You know. Yeah, he's definitely one of my favorites, man. I think um, he hasn't been utilized well over the last, I don't know, decade, two decades. Like, what has he done other than well, Jurassic, Jurassic Park, Park reboots? Uh, you know, yeah, but I mean, other than that, what else has he done? I don't even uh, rent rent.com. He does those dot com commercials. For renting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't. Where's he been at? Why is nobody? He had a Disney did? Plus show where he just did weird shit. Uh, it was like Jeff Goldblum's universe where it's just yeah. you hang out and do weird stuff with Jeff Goldblum. Um, uh, I can't remember the name of the show. I love Goldblum. Goldblum's dope. Be sure you was like he in Ragnarok. Yes, he was phenomenal in Ragnarok. Actually, wait, he was he was, he was in Death Wish. Yeah, yeah, he plays uh, he plays one of the muggers in Death Wish. Actually, you didn't know that? No, I mean I haven't seen Death Wish in a long time. It was 1974. Yeah, look at him. Oh, look okay. Him. Yeah. God, oh, look damn. at God, look at him. Yeah, he rapes fuck it. I, I'm not saying this to be glib, but he he's the rapist of I think Bronson's daughter. Uh, uh, or wife. Uh, both. Say, say grapes. Remember. Grapes. Grapists. He's the grapist. Yeah. No, I'm serious. YouTube is like with that word, they're you well, can't the, even I mean, you can't even say like kill on YouTube anymore. <laughs> like people say you have to like I don't know. Really? Man. Wow. I'm so glad. Yeah. I'm so glad that, I'm so glad that I'm alive. Uh B Show, <laughs> I, I'm gonna check this out for sure. I like the idea of it. Yeah, I'm a fan of his. Um, I don't know if I've seen him be evil in anything, but he seems like he could pull it off really well. He just has this malevolent nature that he looks like he can slip into pretty easily. Yeah. Um, especially as like a, a Greek god. I don't know why. That Zeus, twist I mean, on the god of, playing... He's the god of gods. He's that, yeah. You know? In this so. picture, he looks like he could uh, fit perfectly in I Spit on Your Grave. Yeah, he looks like that actor. The guy he yeah. passed away a bunch of years ago, that actor. Uh, it's kind of got the same movie. vibe. Same I, sleepy. No, um, is he, no shot. You're thinking of the Hills Have Eyes guy, the OG Hills. No, you're thinking no. of um, not no. You know who you're thinking of, um, Last House on I, the Left. Last House on the Left guy. Yeah, if you pull up Last House on the Left, he looks like the the main antagonist in Last Last House on the Left. Is it Krug? He died a few years ago. I think my brother Mike met him at a horror con. The original. We're talking the OG. He's the he's the main antagonist in the Last House on the Left. Oh, not 2009. Ricky Lincoln is is the girl in the in the reboot. Did you know that? Really? That's yeah, she's strange. nude in it too. Yeah. Oh yeah, she she does the nudes. Huh. Does the does the nudes? Yeah, right. That little box right there. Like he's that guy. Yeah, correct. David, David Hess. David, David Hess. He's in. He had a couple of horror movies, didn't he? Be show. What did he he did? He did some shit. Uh, let me see. Kind of looks like Freddy Krueger. He kind of looks like Howie Mandel. Um, he does. That's on the left. To all a good night. Oh, House on the Edge of the Park. How, yeah, okay. He's into it's a Diodato movie. Yeah, Body he's, count. White Star. Swamp. Th oh, he was in Swamp Thing. He's in Swamp Thing. Oh, that's he must have been like a lackey or something. Yeah, okay. Wes Craven's Swamp Thing. Oh, that's so wild. But uh, yeah, I'll be checking it out. I think it looks interesting. You know, there was a movie that uh, we've been talking about in the Patreon. Uh, we watched the trailer from somebody's phone. <laughs> But the trailer is out. This is this is a, this is getting a lot of attention since the trailer came out. Um, and of course, I don't think any really big horror properties have been released, and there's going to be a dick ton between this month and the end of the year. There's just this going to be a barrage of horror movies coming out. So the tone of this uh, is going to change quite a bit. But there's this fascinating concept: a low low budget film told from the perspective of a killer, of a brutal murderer called in a violent nature it is going to go directly to shutter but it's going to theaters i think in may this is i as far as impactful trailers go i think this is probably one of the most impactful trailers i've, I've seen in a long time and if you haven't heard it or seen it we're going to play it for you guys right now and uh if you guys in the chat let us know what you think if you haven't seen this some beautiful shots Yeah, I always love like wide shots. It just so we got uh, the. Oh, this is like the Friday the Thirteenth one we watched, right? Yeah, this is the real yeah. one though. This is oh, not okay. from a phone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
I have same trailer Connor. though, right? Yeah, I think so. I might be a little more um, red manny. I love these shots. You know what I mean? Like, what the oh, this looks so creepy to me. I there's something about this I can't. Show I would you. pause it for a minute. Yeah, pause oh, it yeah. for a sec. I mean, you got. I mean. Now we don't know that the whole film, guys, is from the perspective of the killer. That might be a little difficult to pull off. Do you think, Shaw? Because they're saying it is. Well, then how would? I mean, that would kind of suck because then you never really see the killer, right? Which is which we know is kind of for a fact might be the case, right? Yeah. Well, and that blows dick, dude. <laughs> I don't get to see who's killing. Well, we don't know. I don't know. I we we really just don't know. Uh, Bisho, have you heard the same thing? Um, just in passing. Yeah, I haven't seen anything confirmed though. Um. The one thing about that is, uh, do you think it's going to take some of the tension out of the movie because you can't really build around the killer? Because well, if the killer's on. gone and you we see just people saw, in if, it. if you even rewind that a little bit, that's we didn't see that guy get killed from the perspective of a killer or from walking. We, 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 you know what I mean? Like, I don't feel that this is from that perspective. Just take it, right, Sean? I mean, look, look, this is clearly not from the perspective of the antagonist. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's going to be full blown. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, no way. Like, we wouldn't see this, right? I mean, yeah. Right, Bisho? I mean, like, or am I wrong? I don't know. No, I I agree with you because they're showing cutaways and stuff of other things in the house. And mm. so I think it'd be – like I said, I don't – I think it would be a little shallow or one-dimensional if they just followed the killer around as he did shit. Yeah. I'm sure you could follow him stalking people. Right. But, like, to, to not cut away from him and show other people and kind of it'd sell people, holy shit, don't – you know, he's coming, he's coming. Where is he? It okay. would be really weird. Yeah, so so yeah. let's continue here because uh, I mean, I, the, supposedly the kill scenes in this movie are big time. I love that dawn shot. Oh, oh Jesus. my god, it just looks amazing. This is my favorite. <laughs> you see the size difference there? Yeah. Yeah, it's not first person. Wow. Should pause it again. Um, how did they not get sued? By the Friday 13th. I don't know, but I, you know, it, you shot you're bringing up a great point for people. I mean, that he's are got the potato sack, and like it's literally, it's literally it's Friday. Friday the 13th. But what would be the lawsuit with walking? I mean, like, what we don't know. Well, you, you know, they could argue really... that the, the potato sack, them uh, killer in the woods, in the lake, you know, like, I mean, I don't know, man. There's a lot of similarities. I mean, oh, is... of course, and that's the point, I think, but. Um, I, I can't see how this would get greenlit. I mean, like they would, they would lose their shirts. You know what I mean? What do you think, Bisho? Yeah, I agree. And I think honestly, the potato sack that was taken from um, fuck, what, what's that movie called? Uh, Town that dreaded sundown. Yes, yeah, that's right. The town yeah, that dreaded was, sundown. That was the killer's whole thing. Yeah, there was a couple movies that came out in the seventies. That one and another one that had a, a killer with a sack on his head. So that's not exactly original. But you know, the tone, the look. The overall concept i'm sure i'm sure sean cunningham could say hey look here's a backwoods bald kind of deformed looking killer roaming the woods murdering people in the same way jason did mm -hmm. but then again you could say the same thing about uh, victor crowley in the hatchet series too oh and how many other movies i mean guys how many how many friday the 13th ripoffs were there almost right after friday the 13th I mean, fucking madman mars um, yeah well if yeah. i well i'll tell you what I, maybe if he doesn't use the machete, do you think, Shaw? Like, maybe because right now if we saw him kill a guy with his hands and a gun. He's got some fucking hooky thing that he's using, like a hook on a chain. I don't know what he's using to kill people. Maybe he's killing them with, uh, you know, different objects. I don't know. Is that that could be it? Who the fuck knows? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm definitely interested in it. It's just not very yeah. original. It looks good though. Yeah, yeah, be sure rewind that a little bit. There's a little bit. The only dialogue we hear there, other than screaming, is this woman talking about animals. Just go right there. That's fine. It's my favorite. Look at the size differential, guys. I like this music. Too. Yeah. Animals don't get too hung up on reason. They just keep killing. <laughs> so cool. Jesus Christ. <laughs> And I love that, like that shot on the deck. Because look, you're gonna see something come up the water there. Stay there for a second. Hit that back, B show. I just want to see because I don't know if it's a body or him. Well, it's oh, a it's body. body. Yeah, it's a body. Come on, this is Friday, dude. <laughs> this is yeah. No, look, you're not wrong. I just don't know, like, how they would prevent it from being made. Oh, Joe Punch thinks it's a bear trap. 
I just wish they would take a little bit more pride in being original, like mm-hmm. just a little bit, man. I mean, at least change the setting from from the middle of the woods by a lake. Like mm-hmm. I don't know, just. Well, let's. I mean, as far as idea wise, it's not original. However, conceptually, mm-hmm. we've not seen the movie like this, where it looks like it's a lot of, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. Be show like I, I mean, clearly they had to not rip it off i mean otherwise they wouldn't be able to make it right i guess but like like shah's <laughs> saying like we've and, and yeah we just mentioned um a couple of rip-off movies like even um the burning and things like that yeah yeah but but, th- but this movie particularly coming out looks so like it's so easily identifiable as a knockoff friday the 13th movie yeah of that course. i i wouldn't be surprised if at some point Something comes down lawsuit wise from this. So this is the Never Hike Alone mini movies that are on here. Yeah, this is the second one. I, I'm okay. not going to go through and play it, but there are scenes it's, that it's a fucking whole movie, right? Could be very similar to that. Well, how movie. could they get away with this? Isn't this literally Friday the Thirteenth, like like a like a fake Friday the Thirteenth? It is, yeah. Um, so how are they allowed fan... to do it? <laughs> so I don't know. I've tried to parse that one for a while, but basically, from what I've been able to tell is since it's, it has to be non-profit so all profits have to be used everything well, raised has to be used profit. okay to make the movie um well no it's not it's not it's not monetized right so they're not well, making no, but, money for it. but like if they do a, a gofundme the guy can't take money and profit from it it has to be dispersed to make the actual movie as a fan movie whereas this in a violent nature is definitely for profit so oh 100 I mean, it's going to no. you know, I, I get that, but I'm just saying on that YouTube video that you just went to, because you don't have YouTube Premium, so there would be an ad normally on an hour and a half video. The fact that yeah, there's they, no they ad, can't monetize. Yeah, they yeah. can't attempt okay. to make money off of it. Yeah, you're right. So what's yeah. the fucking point then if you can't get their name out there? You know, huh, yeah, I guess. I mean, it's almost like a student film, right? How a student right. film gets yeah. away with not having to do copyright I mean, and stuff like that. Look at the talk to me people. They were YouTubers. You know what I mean? That's how they got their yeah. name. Yeah. Yeah, I think if we did a deeper dive on this, we would see that it is a homage in some way. Like, I don't know. I But people that have seen it have said it's fucking brutal. Like, it's a brutal, like, unflinching movie. Yeah. Um, I'm excited for it. I mean, yeah, it looks I, good. I, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. B, what were you going to say? I didn't mean to interrupt you. Um, I like the way the killer looks. It's not, like, over the top, crazy, unrealistic. It just it looks like a nasty, bruised up, dirty grungy dude in the woods it looks realistic as opposed to far out there fantasy yeah from my understanding the little i read about it uh beforehand was that i think it's a resurrected dead person and you're not really sure why they're doing any of this or how any of this happens and i don't even know if any of this is cleared up in the film um i just know that it looks like a brutal horror movie we have we don't have a lot of brutal horror movies like in the theaters you know like you know like we don't have a lot of these type of movies coming out in theaters um to look forward to it you could find them on tubi you could find them on shutter uh but to go and see it in a regal or an amc um but yeah some people in the chris matthews is saying i'm shocked they got away with these movies yeah i mean there must be something to it i mean clearly we've seen ripoff of other films but uh i'm i'm interested in it for sure and i'll definitely be checking it out um i'm curious that end of may shot that's a isn't that like the memorial day kind of that's a weird time, isn't it? Was that Labor Day weekend? It's Labor Day. That's a um well, no, it's, no, it's it's been more. Whoa, guys. 93% critics. Dude, can you can you uh Google remember how he looks from behind with that mask, right? Because it looks like he almost has goggles on, right? Oh, look at yeah. right. Yeah, maybe that's how they, so, oh, he looks like a sand one of the sand people from this. This, this is what I want to say. <laughs> look up look up skin deep and tell me this doesn't look like the same. It's a skinned. Skinned. Yeah, that's that freaky yeah. weird movie you told us about, right? Look at this. Tell oh, me this wow. is very similar. Yeah, but his mouth is a bear trap. Yeah, but we can't see what the mouth is. Who knows? It might, might not a have a mouth. Trap. Motherfucker might not have a mouth and shit. I don't know. He may not, he may not have lips and shit. I don't know. This is a great movie, by the way. It's a, it's yeah, a, you've been uh, talking this up for a while. Yeah, all um, practical effects. The guy that um, yeah, this directed is like an it. Australian movie or something or New Zealand. I don't, I don't know, but the... um. The one dwarf is in there. I forget his name. The guy oh, Warwick Davis. Right. Warwick, Warwick Davis, Davis yeah. is in this. Yeah, this yeah. is definitely a UK movie. Um, I would totally check this out. 
But I'm excited for the movie. 93% B show critics score because it's screened for critics. That's fucking impressive, man. Yeah, and that's the <laughs> thing too, is like here's a movie that's getting press. It's getting attention. It's getting these huge, great reviews, but it, it's still very much a knockoff of Friday the 13th. Conceptually, yes, but as far as the prep, but we don't know what's in this story. We have right. absolutely, like we could see this movie and be like, they totally misrepresented this and pushed it as like a Friday the 13th ripoff. Which and, would be genius as a marketing campaign because people have been waiting for a Friday the 13th right, movie so for a Joe long time. So Joe Punches and Slave Sheiks are saying there is a picture of the killer from the front if you want to pull it up. Oh, They're saying it's okay. out there. I'd like to see it. I'm curious. I'm sure Shabba wants to see it. And then we have one more cool trailer to get to that I'm very excited about. And we don't know the killer's name. Like Now, interesting, this killer's name is Stephen Vornese. Um, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you know that, Shabba. Stephen it's Vornese. Jay Sean. Jay Sean. Jay Sean Vornese. Wouldn't surprise me. Marty is that, is that his name really? No. Jay Sean? <laughs> Jay Sean. No, 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 no. I know not Voorhees, but the one that B his name is Jay Sean Ladarius Voorhees. That would be amazing. <laughs> That's the fucking killer. I would love it. It looks like he's wearing a diving helmet. Let's see. Yeah, we might it's not. Hard to I mean, see. look, I don't know. It's hard to see. Somebody yeah. probably fucking leaked it, which is cool. Let's see if we can share it with the class. That's what I'm trying. Oh, yeah, I thought so I was they sharing. Some punches that they've seen it. Here we go. All right, let's just see what he looks like. Let's see if he looks like Sloth from Goonies. I'm trying to get a bigger or better picture. Oh, here. really? You can't really. Mm. Yeah, it looks like a potato sack of goggles, dude. A potato sack with goggles. What do you think the goggles are for? Do you think he needs progressives? Is it more like? Oh, oh there we go. go. Okay, that's. I like that's that. The diving that looks like almost like an old diving mask. Yeah, kind of reminds me of like a character from Mystery Science Theater. You know who he looks like? Blaster from the third Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome's Master. Oh, yeah. I'm Master. He's Blaster. He looks like Blaster a little bit, doesn't he? He does. Is that a, is that a pair of scissors on his mask? Maybe. No, that? it looks like you you pull it. You know what? Can we get a little closer? It's an Entertainment Weekly, the mask. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, here we go. All right. We're going to blow this up a little bit. I love if that we're fuck... doing the deep dive on the mask. I love if it. the ads want to get the fuck out of here. Oh, word. Yeah, they gotta they gotta make their money, B show. I like how they left a tag on the mask too. Entertainment <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Weekly gets all these exclusives and shit. It's wild. They had the beer. No, no, those are no, they... those are like rings and grommets, so that's not a, a scissors at all. It's just yeah, you pull mask. I guess that you pull it from it. That's an interesting mask. It does by the okay, now you know how they're getting away with it. That mask doesn't look anything like a hockey mask, it doesn't look anything like a potato sack. Um, yeah, I guess, yeah. I, I'm sure that I, I I'm sure there's more to the story, but even if there isn't, if the execution is there, I'm on board. <gasps> what? It's a vintage fireman's mask, and is his name Johnny? Johnny? Johnny Schwarhees? Johnny Schwarhees? And he's mad because his mom wanted to get a schmushmushman. <laughs> so they incorporated the burning in there also with the fire. What did the the burning didn't have a mask, right? No, he no, was, the guy he was got set on fire. No, bro. he was all burned and shit. He didn't need no yeah. mask. You know, okay. Punches brings up something I was thinking of a minute ago. There's Zodiac. one Zodiac murder where they said he wore an executioner's hood, and it does kind of look yeah, like that. Yeah, he put that. the thing, and he put the... Yeah, yeah. That's a fucked up mask, yo. And that's... He's swinging a bear trap at a motherfucker? <laughs> Jesus Christ. By the way, that guy looks big as shit, Shot, doesn't he? I can't tell in the trailer he looks big, but it's... I don't know. Can we man. look, can we look at angle. just before I don't want to do, spend the rest of the night on, but I look at the you, oh wow, look at the it's a play on the zodiac, too. Holy shit. Oh, that's the fucking Riddler mask shot from the Batman, too. Wow. Oh, wow. That mask was fucked up. Yeah, interesting punches. Punches always pulls up the interesting references. Mm -hmm. Can we yeah, these masks are weird, yo. They're like borderline, like, oh good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's creepy, man. Just that's uncomfortable. Zodiac. Yeah, the Zodiac Killer's a level of creep factor. Bishop, we just pulled the person, pulled the movie up. I just want to see if the guy who played him is some giant dude or if it's a forced perspective and it's just an average dude. Oh, the Judy Arch thing from The Lord of the Rings on the moving set to make him look like he's 12 feet tall. Yeah, it's not like he's 5'8", but they shot him because that scene where he's coming towards that woman is like a foot difference. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't be surprised if he's not even you know, like six foot and they just use certain angles to make it look big. Yeah. But well, then again, I mean, a sack. I mean, like, you know, did they say who plays the killer? Okay. I bet you that. Who's the killer. I bet you that. My guess guy. is this guy here. Yeah. Let's pull this guy up. I bet you it's that guy. 
bunch of jabronis in this movie. All right, let's see. Ryan in Barrett. a violent nature. Let's see. The dem- look at the movie this guy's in. The Demolisher. He looks like a psycho, like a, a white yeah, he looks like a, psycho. Yeah, he looks like a big dude. I bet you this guy's big as fuck. Canadian. Okay. Yeah, he's probably some lumberjack or some shit. It's Canadian Jason. He's Canadian Jason, eh? Wow. Don't go in the woods, eh? Hey, Bob, you ever, you ever so hear the story? You ever hear the story of Jay Sean in the woods over by Saskatchewan, eh? He says he hits people with bear traps and stuff, eh? Sean, what did you say? Uh, he's actually six foot six. Jesus Christ. He's a yeah. 23 years old. That's a hard 20. He's an H23. That's I, 23? Yeah, he looks 37, dude. I don't, I don't he's know. He's got a Sasha Banks forehead. Oh, my God. He's got the the, the CEO forehead, B-Show. Look at that. <laughs> this guy looks my age, dude. Shot, this guy's 23 years old? Yeah, look it up. He's 23. I just typed in his name. What What's been happening? To, was, was he raised in the woods? Is this an autobiography? An autobiography? That dude, he's six six. Damn. Just type in, just type in Rye Barrett height on uh, Google. It'll pop up. Okay. His name's Rye Barrett. He's from Guelph, Ontario. Wow. Hmm. Musically inclined path into acting. He, so he's a musician in a punk band and rock band through his teenage years Jesus. into his twenties. Wow. I've seen a big diesel six foot six guy fronting a punk band. Isn't Corpse Grinder a big ass like? Jack yeah, dude. but he's not in shape. Okay. He's a big slob. <laughs> he's a big slob who, who buys like Furbies and shit. <laughs> Makes YouTube videos. He's making fur. No, he likes to, he he gets, um he buys, I, I shouldn't shit on it, but when he tours, he goes to, um he goes to concessions and like he does the, um the grabbing games. He spends the all claw his machine, money on yeah. the claw machines, and then goes to children's hospitals and donates all the all, donates all the all the prizes all over the. So he got an award for it for a children's hospital. The crazy thing is, he's only two hundred and fourteen pounds. <laughs> Six wow! So he's so he's CrossFit. He's CrossFit Jason. Jesus, what's his last name? Shaw. I was trying to look him up. You had him right there. Oh, he's right there, but he's on a screen. If you pull this out, he's already there. No, no but then it was pulling up this other like basketball kid. God, this dude was this dude was barely alive on nine eleven. Jesus Christ. He's six six shot. Yeah, he's no little dude, man. Yeah. Wow. Well, we're gonna see a, hopefully uh it's a good film. I mean, wow. That Jesus. That's a that's an interesting looking guy. Well he kind of he reminds me of the dude who played Sabretooth. He's a little bigger than him. Um he played Michael Myers in the zombie movies too. Oh yeah, I forget his Tyler Maine. Tyler Maine. Wasn't Tyler Maine a wrestler, Shaw? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm I'm excited for this movie. I really want to see it. Now, our last trailer uh, before we head over to the Patreon, we have a ton of stuff we got to get to in the Patreon, but uh, is from the child of one of mine and Shah's favorite directors of all time, the legendary David Cronenberg, whose offspring uh, Br- is it Brendan or Brandon Shah? Brendan? Uh, it's Brandon, but this is actually his daughter. Yeah, Brandon Cronenberg has made some bangers. Oh my God, the wind has just shook my whole house. Wow. The wind literally just shook my whole house, like, like Wizard of Oz style. That's how bad the wind advisory is here. Uh, they said expect a ex- expect a, a, a bunch of witches to fly on around. Good Lord. Um, now, uh, David Cronenberg's daughter, who I didn't know existed, made this movie called Humane. We're going to probably have to stop this a few times, so let's let this roll. No one has seen this other than me. Uh, but yeah, we, we're the Cronenbergs are no joke, and uh, we're going to play this trailer right now. I don't even know her, and I have high hopes for this. While we every day bear witness to the catastrophic ecological collapse that is plaguing our planet, oh, we shit. must not forget that this is, above all, a human crisis. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Can you rewind? Did he just say, you must not forget this is a butthole? No, above all, above all. Oh, he said a butthole. <laughs> you must like, not forget what? a butthole. <laughs> It's the opposite of Dune. Instead of a giant sandworm, it's just a giant gaping, leeching asshole. Yeah. 
I am in favor of this government doing whatever it takes to win this war. It's not a war. The wars have opposing sides. Humanity oh is the opposing side. Oh, is that supposed good. to be Ben Shapiro knockoff? <laughs> Kate Barron. We are engaged in nothing less than a life and death struggle against our own extinction. So I'm assuming this isn't going to theaters, right? No, I think this is going to theaters. Because it's a Shutter original. Mm. Yeah, but IFC, usually... IFC though through through IFC, Shaw. Yeah, but the Shutter logo makes me think it's a Shutter exclusive because they don't. I don't recall any Shutter movies being in theaters. No, uh, um, a couple have, I think, for sure. All right, let, let's let's let this play out. Yeah, that one uh, love that bodybuilder chick movie isn't that a Shutter movie? No, oh, that's a twenty four. Or is it Neon? Love Lies Bleeding. That's Neon, Neon, Neon. Okay. All right. So, so happy you all joined us tonight for a family dinner. What is going on? Yeah. Cool. We decided concept. to enlist. What? So, John, lay it out for people who are maybe listening and not watching on YouTube. So, Caitlin Cronenberg's movie, basically because of uh, a population crisis and probably uh, some form of global warming, 20% of the human race needs to die. And I think people are volunteering to kill the 80% volunteers to kill the other 20%. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. And from a Cronenberg shot. So, right, this, this is essentially like a spoiler for our future, I feel. Yeah, like. so this is almost pretty like much, next week. So let's, yeah, let's it's pretty much reality now. when Caitlin inflation Cronenberg goes Cronenberg didn't point. know you existed, pal. All right, let's see. Let's see the yeah. rest of the trail. And isn't this like, it looks like the family getting together for a dinner to decide who's going to live and who's going to die? Yeah, I, th I think you, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Because I only saw the trailer. It's like Cabin in the Woods. Yeah. She's gone. Sorry, Peter Gallagher. I do it. I will always love you. That's Marsha Gay Harden. I've seen her on Broadway. Hi, I'm Bob. He's been in quite a few things, like news radio and stuff. Oh, they're early. <sighs> Jay Barish, Barish, all. You're not going to like this, but we're here to collect two bodies. I already told you Don left. Oh, shit. And that's unfortunate. Oh! But the rules are the same for everybody. Wow. Think about your life. Yo, imagine if this happened. Sure. <laughs> One of you is going to realize it. it's not all that great. I know we're family and all, but if Bob needs a second body, we should pause it one more it's time. Not gonna... I, think wow. every, like, I love the concept seconds. of this because it's very topical, don't you think? Yeah, I yeah, was I'm thinking. Gonna... Sorry, go ahead, Sean. My bad. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say, yeah, I was thinking it was like, okay, here, family, let's decide which one of us lives. But no, <laughs> no, it's uh, people coming in, and now you have to draw straws and shit. Yeah, I think wow. I think it's a short straw. <laughs> So, so 80, 20 percent of your family has to die. Has to volunteer. You have to give them up to be killed. I could work that out. I yeah, mean, I, I can take care out. of that. Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay. <laughs> what are you gonna say, Sha? Nothing. I'm just. I'm surprised by the lack of body horror. That's what I was expecting from. Well, we haven't seen the whole trailer yet. <laughs> so yeah, that's see. true. I just. Let's see how it plays. Let's see how the rest of this plays out. Is that what are they still horror? doing in the house? No, based on my experience in similar situations, I want to say yeah. Killing one another. Uh, yeah, when you get this. Okay. Oh, Jesus. You think I'm the bad guy? I'm doing important work to save the planet. We can get through this, but we have to stick together. It's been a it's been a hell of a night, huh? I recognize so many of these people. I just don't know their names. Does anybody else get that vibe? Yeah, I mean, I recognize the the dad. Um, Peter I, I, I like the concept. Um, that's what I meant. Knock at the cabin, not cabin in the woods. Knock at the, yes, knock at the cabin. Yeah, very yeah. heavy. Thanks to Joe Punches um, for throwing that in there. You might want to put a humane movie film or film. God only knows what will come We'll be out. talking about the staff at my local humane society. Yeah, um, really. What were you going to say, Sean? Nothing. I'm honestly just not as impressed as I thought I was going to be just because the name Cronenberg is associated with it. I immediately expect a certain tone and obviously body horror incorporated in somehow, but yeah, this seems the realistic. Yeah, this seems like realistic, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's a dark comedy, but it also seems incredibly topical. Um, I didn't know... What is that the bald guy? I got to know his name. Oh, oh, this guy's been in a lot of TV Enrico stuff. Catalone or something like that? Let me see. Peter Enrico. Gallagher, I know. That's Peter the only Gallagher's one been around a long time. Yeah. Uh, Emily Hampshire. Okay, that girl looks really familiar. But who is the bald guy? What is he from? He, the guy plays Bob. 
He's been in a few things, but I re- remember him from news radio, I think, back in the day. Really? He's from that? He's that? Let's see. Yeah. Hold on. I just want to click on Bob there for a second. That guy looks so familiar. Um, Enrico Colot- Colotini. Colotini. Oh, Galaxy Quest. AI. He was in AI. He's in Contagion. He's he's from Veronica Mars. Oh, Veronica Mars is on? Yeah. Do you remember uh, Galaxy Quest? We are here to ask. Tim I love Allen. Galaxy Quest. Galaxy yeah. Quest is dope. Shy, you remember Galaxy Quest? I remember. I never watched it though. Yeah, it's a fun movie. It's uh, that people want it to be a remake. It's actually kind of a cult movie. What is? What has he been acting in? I feel like I haven't seen this guy in a long time. Uh, you mean Miss Valentine? Mother, sister, father, brother. Okay, nothing that great. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with it, Shy. I think it looks all right. I mean, it's a cool idea. It's a Cronenberg person. Oh, he's in Westworld. That's wild. Yeah, I feel like he's known for a couple of specific things. Like, it's probably more TV things. Um, I'll check that out. Be sure would you check it out. I think it looks interesting. Yeah, it's honestly, I don't know if it's because it doesn't seem like the same type of Cronenberg stuff we're used to seeing with Possessor and some of the older stuff. Um, I don't know. Um, I'll check it out, but I'm not as excited as, um, what is it, Crimes of the Future and stuff like that. Well, that's David Cronenberg and Brent yeah. Brendan did. Um, he did three films in total, right, Shaw? He's done. Yeah, he did films. Infinity Pool. He did Infinity Pool. And, and uh, Infinity Pool. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. the well, first one he did. And uh, anti-viral. antiviral. Antiviral. Yeah. yeah. I I still need to check that out. I heard that's dope as fuck. Um, I think. I mean, anything he, his son puts out, I enjoy. All three of his movies have been amazing. Yeah. I just. I don't know his daughter. I, I guess she's taking a different route. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Shah, if she just copied her brother and her father, wouldn't you be like, oh, you're copying your well, brother? If it's, and your father. Well, if it's working, might as well just keep it going. Why not? Yeah, that's true. That is true. But I, I'd be interested in checking it out. It looks very different. I like the idea of it. Um, and I'm sure it's got some creepy shit, like some, you know, fucked up scenarios in it. I like the concept of it because it is yeah. very topical. Uh, before we head out, I just want to point out I don't know if you noticed this, Shah, but uh, the movie Civil War that we had been talking about. Uh, that's coming. It's not coming out for a little bit, but Civil War. We we played the trailer on the Patreon. Um, th- this is a this is going to be a very polarizing film in an election year. It screened, I think, for critics last week, and uh, people are either saying it's brilliant or it's a piece of shit. Have you seen any write ups on it yet, Sean? No, but that's exactly what I would expect, depending on uh, which political side you align with, because. Clearly, I mean, if you're like a conservative, I'm assuming you're probably not going to like the movie much. Um, it seems like it's a very liberal ass movie. Yeah. Hence the recent A24 uh, co Well, they, they said it's really about, it's not about politics as much as it's about journalism. So apparently it's about the state of journalism in politics. Mm. So that's what I've read. But uh, a lot of people uh, were, were, were tweeting about it like crazy last week. It might have been at South by Southwest. I think that's really. Because that just had the, the the films that premiered there, I think that's where uh, it got. Re- but I was seeing a lot of Alex Garland write ups, and the director is probably one of mine and Shaw's favorite modern directors. Uh, maybe maybe on one of our top fives, probably easily. I would say Shaw. Oh, definitely right, right now. Current, oh, yeah. yeah, hell yeah, current, dude. current, yeah, current. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's he's three for three uh, with Ex Machina, uh, Annihilation, and uh, the very polarizing Men. Um, which I, I, I think we all had on our top list for that year in horror films. Yeah, it was my number one. My it was my number one. It Oof. was my, I just, it's, woo. Uh, that movie is a masterpiece, dude. I don't give a shit what anybody says. If you don't like well, it, you didn't understand it. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, me too. I'll stand behind that movie forever. But, yeah. but, but this supposedly shot, this comes out, this comes out in a few weeks and, uh, apparently it's a pretty heavy film. So, uh, I'm sure we're going to be checking it out and talking about it when it comes out. But we have a dick ton of things to get to on Patreon. We're going to talk about some really fun stuff there. So you might want to consider joining up so you can join us. Uh, and, of course, uh, if you join us, you'll be able to t- partake in our Q&A for the month, which we'll be recording next weekend. That's where uh, any one of the Patreons sends us over questions, and we do a whole bonus episode just for them, uh, like literally just for them. Um, stop Motion, apparently, uh, the horror movie about stop motion uh, shit is now on Shutter. Uh, Joe punches saw it and he says it's fantastic. I think we played that trailer on Patreon. We'll be looking into that, uh, even though I think somebody ruined the ending for me. But I'm going to get to the plugs because we want to go to patreon.com uh, backslash spitball media uh, to get to our bonus show. Uh, we're going to plug uh, Deathmatch Outlaws, the Jucifer Yarsifer experience, Cassette Classics 86 on YouTube, Rich Dow, my pal over there, uh, his podcast. 
uh, the Down on the Thundercast, and of course, Don Tony and Kevin Castle. Necromaniacs podcast, the human experience podcast, Ringside is Wrestling on YouTube, Mojo and Dirk's most dastardly show, and of course, the Garden of Doom. And we have Old Guy Metalcast, FunkBetty.com. I know it's cold out right now, but it's going to get warm. And uh, you want to get some clothes over at FunkBetty.com. Do that tonight. MJW Games. And, of course, Cherry Jesus on YouTube and his band Kaiser. Uh, my buddy Sam Hoyos and his band Red River Podcast. Uh, his band, excuse me, Playing Dead in the Red River Podcast. Bio Geeks, that's Fate 316. And, of course, the High Marks Podcast. The Midnight Mass Creature Cast and the Weekly Detour with Anthony Alston and Teddy. And we got the Guns and Geeks Podcast. Uh, Shot, anything happening on Planet Mondo? No, not for the foreseeable future, but uh, I want to comment on one thing that Chris Matthews said. He said he didn't understand men. Um, I'm not going to explain the whole thing, but just a brief summary in case you want to rewatch it, because I think it'll it'll definitely be a different experience if you go into it thinking about it like that. It's it's more so about, like, uh, how, like I guess, like, the social pressure on men and how we don't really heal from anything and we just suppress everything inside. Or take it repeat. out on other people. Not only that, we just repeat the same cycle, hence the reason all the men look the same. They were birthing men. And um, basically, just like we stuff shit inside and we're just all broken people. We just keep it moving and hurt more people. Yeah. So, and I very much relate to that. I, uh, I, I, I can very much relate to that. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I've, I've suppressed a lot and I've, uh, I've ended up hurting many people. So, yeah, yeah, I'm a super fan of it. I remember sitting in the movie theater the last 15 minutes and I felt like I was going in for surgery. Um, yeah. Like it just felt. I felt very. I felt like this uncomfortableness. I've only felt it a few times. Hereditary, and men. I think are the two times I've felt it the most. Uh, B Show Brian. Anything happened on the B Show Brian channel? Yeah, I didn't get something this week, but two weeks ago I put up kind of a my thoughts on the new Halloween series that was announced. Oh uh, shit! You know, the good and bad, and some sentiments that were echoed on TikTok by Chunky Larry. So I think I'm onto something here. Mm. Uh, so. Go to bshowbrian.com. You can check it out. It's got, a, I think, a couple hundred views. So uh, go yeah. help me out there. Like and subscribe. And, of course, subscribe. And, uh, of course, uh, if you do head over our Patreon, you will be a, you will have access to everything. Uh, and especially if you got any trips coming up or something like that, you're looking for shit to listen to. My God, uh, the Patreon's where you want to get to. And, of course, it's five bucks. There's only one tier, and that is uh, the tier. And we are so grateful to everybody who's uh, been contributing to it for the last couple of years, new and old. Uh, but guys, we've had a lot of fun hanging out with you, had a lot of fun watching these trailers with you, but we're heading over to Patreon, but we'll see you guys next week in Spitball Media.